Okay, for the bisque fire, you have to make sure that your pieces are at bone dry. When I place them into the kiln, I have to be very careful because at bone dry, they're very fragile. Right now I'm loading some kiln shelves in. This is kiln furniture so that way I can stack up more pieces into the kiln versus just the bottom of the kiln. With the bisque fire you can have your pieces touch because there's no glaze so glaze isn't melting or expanding to actually melt to each other. So it is okay. I have to be very careful when I place these into the kiln too because they're set on three different posts, three kiln shelf posts. And when I set these on here, I have to make sure that it doesn't wiggle, because otherwise that could be catastrophic in Smash projects, and that would just not be good. So I just double, even triple check before I walk away. After I've put a new shelf down, I can go and get some more posts. I make kind of a triangle, so I set one on a corner, the middle, and then the other corner. And I try to line them up with the previous posts underneath that new shelf. That's going to give me the best sturdy option. you notice that I don't necessarily pick up and put every piece into the kiln. If it feels like it's really thick and still very cold, it's okay if it's a little cool because I'm going to rank this up at a slow speed versus a medium or a high speed so that way if there is any little bit of water left it'll evaporate slowly so it doesn't blow up in the kiln. However, if it feels too cold, I don't want to chance it either with blowing up that piece or even the pieces next to it. That's why having that pinky width is very important. That one, way too thick. Sometimes it's just the base, too. That's why those guide sticks are really helpful so you don't get too thick of a project. At this point I can actually start to close the kiln up and I'm going to actually fire it. So I put the lock on, it's closed. When I come down here and I'm going to set it to cone 04. This is your typical bisque fire so it gets up to about 1950 degrees. Okay, so it kind of runs me through a series of step it steps it asks how fast I want the temperature to rank up. I'm going to go slow, like I said, just in case there's any moisture left so that way it evaporates versus blowing up. I don't want to hold it at a particular temperature, so I'm just going to hit enter. And also do review afterwards, so that way I know for sure what each level is at, so when I hit start, I'm certain what's going to happen.
Right. So in about eight hours, I have projects.